Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Nightmare and today we are going to be doing a automatic chicken cooker as you can see in the background there and um, right now it's all on glass so you can see what's going on so I'm going to turn around and uh, we'll get started alright so this is the automatic chicken cooker I have it enclosed in glass just so you can see what's going on um, it's pretty it's it's pretty simple. I mean, I don't know redstone by any means at all. I'm not good at it. But this was it was oh, oh you can see what just happened there. Um it was pretty easy to do. And uh as you can see up here, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh you'll see all the chickens up here and once they lay an egg It'll go through all these hoppers down into this dispenser here. And that dispenser <clears throat> will shoot out an egg, which will hopefully hatch a chicken. Once that chicken is full grown, that dispenser up top here, which has a lava bucket in it, uh, it will dispense and the adult chicken will eventually, well, become cooked chicken. As you can see, or heard, one of the chickens laid an egg. It got shot out, and I don't think we had any new chickens put in. Oh, there's another egg. Alright, now to get started, we are going to put down a chest. Put it right here. Get the same. Uh, put the chest right there. And from that chest, I'm going to put this hopper into the back of it. From there, I'm going to take this slab and put it on top. I'm going to now place this cobblestone and I'm going to add these placer come on placer stones up here so we can add our dispensers just like this so now we can get rid of those two from there I'm going to add um one two more cobblestone so it's three from in behind the dispensers. Then I'm going to add three more like this. From there I'm going to take the comparator and face it away from the, um, the dispenser. So here I'm going to take a repeater and put it there going to add another cobblestone, another uh, comparator, and then we're going to skip this one and add the repeater right there. Now for this uh, comparator here, you want to turn that on. Now add another row of three cobblestone. From here, you add redstone, redstone, redstone. And that's pretty much it just for the redstone. Just like that. So now, we're going to add our our, uh, our four Wow, I just had a brain fart. Hoppers. <laughs> so, from here, I'm going to put this hopper into that dispenser, because that's where the eggs will go, and then get dispensed out to this block here. From there, 
you want this hopper going into this one, and this hopper going into that one, and this hopper going into that one. Just like this. Alright, now you can do your placement of your glass or stone. Um, in my single player world, I use stone. <laughs> so I'm going to put stone here and all the way around that hopper right there. So don't cover this hopper up. Just like this. And you're going to want two layers. That way no chickens escape. So just like that. Now in my single player world I do have glass here and here. I'm going to take another cobblestone and cover this up here because you don't want, again, you don't want the chickens to escape. Just like this. Now, get rid of all this here and I'm going to grab some chicken eggs and add some chickens. We'll add quite a few, that way once they drop some eggs you'll see some action going on. Alright, so now we have this all set up. Now to do the building covering it. I'm going to get my stuff set up and I will be right back. Alright, I am back. So I totally forgot. In this top dispenser, you want your lava bucket. I forgot all about that. Alright, so now, I'm going to make my building about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's right. Yes, sorry. So yeah, a seven by eight. No new chickens here. All right, so I'm going to go up. Probably to probably till there. So that's up one, two, three, four, five, six. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now I'm going to take this cobblestone and place it at the base. So I'm going in one. That way these beams kind of give it a, um, a depth. So going all the way around with the cobble. Just like that. Now I'm going to take I'm thinking maybe I'm going to change that and change it to spruce. So take that in stripped spruce. I'm going to use the stripped spruce wood so there's no uh, tree rings. So now I'm just going to um, I'm just going to add all spruce wood.
like this, and then I'm just going to pepper in the spruce planks. And then I'm going to take the spruce strip of wood and turn some of them sideways. So you get a little bit of variation of wood. So it's not just a plain not just a plain wall. So I'm going to do that on the other two sides and I will be right back. Okay, now we are at the front and with the one I did in my survival world, I covered this part up here with cobblestone. I think I actually took stairs and went here and here. Give it a nice little top, I guess. Oh, we just missed a chicken having a bath. Yeah, look, now we have nine cooked chicken. Before that, we had four. So it works really well. Okay, now. From here, I do believe I can cross this beam over like this, and we can actually fill this in. Actually, mm, scrap that, bring it down one. Like this. I do believe. That horse is crazy looking. I'm wondering if I need to update. This is, um, Part of Germ's uh, Better Mobs pack, so all the animals look different. Chickens look like chickens, the cows are either black or white or spotted, the sheep are so cute with their ears, but this horse is, actually it looks like all the horses are, are kind of messed up. All right, sorry, let's get back to this. Okay, I don't think I needed to go up that high, so... We'll do that. Now... I'm going to start the roof. So, there is... Uh, regular stair, upside down stair, full block, regular stair, upside down stair, full block, regular stair, upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down stair, facing this way, because that's the center point. So we're going to do the same on this side. Regular stair. <laughs> uh, upside down stair. Full block. Regular stair. Oh, oh. Upside down stair. Full block. Stair. Upside down stair, full block, and regular stair. So just like this. Now repeat on the other side, and we'll fill it in with the dark oak.
Okay, so we have gotten to this point here, and what I'm going to do now is bring a full block here and go. Um, I'm gonna get slabs. A stair. So I'm going to bring a stair here and a stair here, and then I'm going to bring the slabs all the way over. So it kind of gives it a nice, nice little uh, design for the, the roof. Now I'm going to bring a stair there and a stair there, and then upside down stair. So you got a nice little roof thing going on here. Now, what uh, else you can do with the roof to make it more interesting than just plain dark oak and cobble is change up some stairs with the uh, stone brick stairs just like this even these ones up here you can do a bit differently so maybe this one over here that one oh, that one that one you can even do maybe this one and that one just change it up you don't have to have it all cobblestone if you don't want it don't forget to do this edging here so maybe something like this. Just change it up. I think we need to do something over here too. Maybe this one. You can also get the stone brick block and change up some of these. Give it some more variation of blocks. Something like that. And now for the roof, you can also change it up and kind of make it look um, kind of look like this over here. Just make it look more rustic. So we can put a full block there, put a stair, oh, stair upside down there so you get a whole um, upside down stair here, another one not there, here, the stair here you can take a full block. Um, just break it up. So like that. And also, another way, if you wanted to um, add some smaller holes, fill in this bottom part with your stairs. Try not to fall down the hole. Fill this in. Oh, I hear a chicken swimming. So we'll just fill this up here with solid blocks. Like that. And so now you can take your stairs, like uh, we'll do here. Turn it on its side and upside down. 
No, oh, come on. Okay, hold on. I'll do it this way. There. So now you got a small hole, but you can't see it through the roof. And you can do it with the solid blocks too. No, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I had it filled in. But you can fill it in if you want. So this here would be, you just have to fill this whole thing in. But I want to be able to use this space up here, and I'll show you in a minute. That way we can add chickens in if we wanted to. So let me just fix that block here. Alright, I'm going to do the other side of this roof and I will be right back. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in up here and I think we'll put in some windows up here as well. So I'm going to take the same dark oak and fill this in. Um, so we don't need stairs there, but we need full blocks. <laughs> so we'll replace those stairs with the full blocks. Now I have to fix that. Oops. Oh, right, okay. It's not going to go that way because I have stairs on the other side brain fart. Alright. Fill that in. Fill that in. Now we can finish this. So now we'll have a a window there. Actually I'm going to use panes instead of full blocks. There. I'm going to fill in this hole before I fall in it again. So these... Oh, I was like, what's going on? I forgot. We need to put this on. We did it in the front, but we forgot to do it in the back. Put that beam across. Right now... We are going to do filling this in. Didn't take the stairs out. No, I did not. There. So hard to see. <laughs> All right. Now we will fill this in. And then add our glass. Okay, so now we have pretty much the whole outside done. We're going to start um, making it look a lot better than just this. Get my favorite buttons. Buttons can do so much. And fence. I'm just going to add fence in. Just gives it a little extra something. My favorite buttons. Just pepper them wherever. Just give it that extra detail. Now, this one here, we're going to knock those blocks out to put in a door. Don't forget to add your fence and your buttons. So, like that. 
can never have enough buttons. I'm going to add some in here too, but I'm going to actually add torches in here. Alright, now we'll get that door and we'll get a dark oak. Oh, that's a button. Stick that there. We're going to grab a cobblestone step just to get in. And now I'm going to grab a ladder because in here what I'm going to do is get rid of that block there and put this ladder right here. So now we have access to the top. And here what I do is I'll put a chest here. That way I can add some eggs, some seeds, whichever. This way when you take the seeds you can you can breed some more uh, chickens to get a better and then just laid an egg and so that's the inside um, I do torch it up just to give it some extra light in here Add a torch here, add a torch there. Alright, I'm going to take uh, a fence and bring it down and add glowstone. I'm going to do it for this side too. Just to give it that look. Oops. And because I am a huge fan of the overgrown look, get some leaves and some vines. So you can add some. Foliage. From there you can add coarse dirt, um, I'll just get a shovel because it's just easier. Fill some of this in. Something like that. Maybe some gravel. And then you can um, just get rid of these out of the way. Put 
fill this in. We don't need that much. Uh, tall grass. something like this. And that is my automatic chicken cooker. I guess you can kind of call it like a, a chicken coop. It's a very big chicken coop. <laughs> but uh, you won't get the eggs from it. You'll just get feathers and cooked chicken. But if you go to Mythical Sausage and you look up this chicken coop, that is a great way to collect your eggs. So off to the side you could have one of those chicken coops collecting your eggs and then you can go up into your, uh, I guess, attic and drop the eggs in to get more chickens. Or you can breed them with seeds, either way. If you want more cooked chicken, just add more chicken to uh, the top part and you should be good. And you, you'll have lots of chicken to eat. And I mean lots. But there you go. Automatic chicken cooker. All pretty fine. <laughs> um, I will go briefly into my survival world and show you how it's pretty much the exact same, but I'll show you quickly uh, what it looks like in my survival world. Alright, so we are in my single player world that I have created so far, and over here is the automatic chicken cooker. So as you can see, it's the exact same almost. It's a little different up in here, so you can do it this way too if you wanted. Have a little pop out log with a, a button. Gotta love those buttons. Uh, I added fence here just to give it a bit extra. And underneath the windows I did do a stair. But as you can see, it's working great. We've got an endless supply of cooked chicken and feathers. Just, I've done the exact same thing I did was you know added the door and a way up so I have I don't have enough seeds right now but just breed them and uh, you're good to go. Oh also this over here, right now I have it open, but this is Mythical Sausage, um, this chicken coop. So if you want to check that out, go to his channel and you can see how to make that. And it collects the eggs. I don't think I have any eggs in here right now. No. All my chickens escaped on me. That's why I named this farm the Chicken Ranch. Because if you followed me on uh, Twitch and saw my live streams, you'll understand why I named it the Chicken Ranch. Because while I was building this, I may or may not have broke a block. So I think it was one of these blocks that keeps the chicken in. And chickens went everywhere. So now I have chickens all over the place. Alright. Thanks for watching guys, um, if you would like to see a, a tour of my single player world, just let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on that. Um, thanks for joining and I will see you in the next video, bye guys. Night